Treyarch, what on earth is going on? Please, please don't step on me. Please don't step on me. <laughs> everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today Treoris has come to me with a groundbreaking discovery. It's absolutely amazing. It's over here and this invention uses the ability to both shrink and grow in size as well as build in a tiny way so that you can live as a tiny little person in your huge Minecraft world. So Treoris has used both the Gulliver mod and the Little Blocks mod to achieve these amazing effects which all starts with some simple recipes and brewing processes but first check this out. What, what are you doing? You, you, are you stuck? Are you stuck on this? But anyway, check this out. This is a normal Minecraft size block, but look at these tiny little ones, which are all fully functional little Minecraft blocks in your Minecraft world. It's absolutely insane. Look how tiny they are. Really, really little. We've got a nether portal over here, which I'll show you in a bit. We've got ores. We've got chests. We've got redstone contraptions. We've got glass. We've got so much stuff, and I'm going to be showing you that in a minute. Even water. Look at that. And Troas is just kind of standing it and ruining it. But anyway, the way that we achieve this is by using this beautiful item which is called the little blocks of wands now this looks pretty cool but it's not too hard to craft at all all you need is a single piece of dirt this that's true you just need one single piece of dirt in the middle of your crafting table or anywhere in your crafting table it doesn't even matter where you put it you can even use it in your two by two crafting grid on yourself and the reason that this is so cheap is because all it does is it doesn't present you with any kind of special effects apart from the option of being able to use little blocks and big blocks and what i mean by that is exactly this so if you hover over a block while holding the little blocks one you will have this kind of glowing cube around it and you can see the little black outline you normally have when you've got um your hand over a minecraft block so you know where you're placing but if you right click a single block with the little blocks wand you will see that your little black outline turns from a big square to a tiny little square and this is how you start placing blocks down in the tiny versions like this so this block has been right clicked with the um, little blocks wand this one has been clicked with the wand all of these ones have this one hasn't as you can see there but these ones all have on the top and i think you can do it for each side so this side of the block doesn't actually have little blocks enabled but the top does because we've got lots of little blocks here so that is really cool and then all you need to do is take whatever block you want to place down and right click and there you go some little blocks are being placed look how it's just so easy so simple yet it looks so amazing so instead of just having one block here you can actually place 512 blocks inside a big Minecraft block. So this block here will contain 512 little pixels, which you can use to craft whatever you like with any Minecraft material. It's really, really cool. But Treyos went one step further and allowed us to actually be able to live inside these little block worlds by crafting some really, really cool brewing potions. And I haven't done much brewing in Minecraft at all ever in my life, but um, I don't think I've even done it in any other Minecraft video. But here we go. Let's go ahead and do it. And first, we are going to need to create an awkward potion because that's the basis of pretty much every potion. I think this is how you do it. How do you get an awkward potion? So let's put the nether wall in the top here and brew us a nice awkward potion. And when we've got one of those, we actually need to use red mushrooms and brown mushrooms. Now, there's two different potions that you can create. The main one we're going to be using today is the potion of Inspawning, but I'm also going to show you the potion of Embiggening, which are both part of the Gulliver mod that Treyarch looked into. So we're going to craft one of these today and we're going to need some brown mushrooms. We're also going to need some redstone, glowstone dust and gunpowder to make different variants of them. So have we got our little awkward potion yet? Yes, we have. So there is the awkward potion and next up we are going to take one single brown mushroom and be able to create our embiggening, no, our inspawning potion. I need to learn these already. It's kind of confusing, but um, it will all make sense in a little bit. So there's our potion in there. Has it worked? Has it worked? It's going to work and it might turn, what color is it going to turn? It's going to turn green. So it's going to look really, really cool. And here we go. It's almost done. It's almost done. It's almost done. It is now complete. So here we go. Here is our potion of insmallening. Now, this is a regular drinking potion and will insmallen us for three minutes, which is pretty cool. But we can make that and take that even further by using both redstone, glowstone dust and gunpowder. So the traditional way to make a throwing potion is usable on the insmallening potion. You just add gunpowder to your potion to make it that you can throw it at people. You can also make it last longer. So at the moment, it only lasts three minutes, but 
you can actually make it last eight minutes by adding a piece of redstone dust. But the coolest one, and the one we're going to be using today, is in Smalling 2. So you can take it one step further and make yourself even smaller by adding a single glowstone dust to what we have just created. So let's just add glowstone dust here. And brewing is actually pretty cool. I should do more of it in Minecraft more often because it is a really cool process and uses some really interesting ingredients too. But we are going to have a look at these potions right now. So that should create ourselves a nice in small link 2 potion. Let's just wait for that. There we go. We have completed it. It's in small link 2. It will last for a less amount of time because it's a bit more stronger. But it, it's it's definitely worth it. It's 100% worth it. So first we're going to use a normal in small link potion. And then we're going to use the in small link 2 just to show you how this works. So are you ready for this? I'm going to go into F5 mode. How do you like my new, my new Minecon cape by the way? It looks beautiful. I really, really like it. It's really cool. So let's use the in small link 1 potion first. So all you need to do is drink it as normal and you will shrink down to size. Look how cool this is. This is really cool. So these are the little blocks that we placed down earlier. Grim's over here. Look how huge Grim is right now. I don't know where Treoris went. I think he went in his office somewhere. So where are you? Nope. He, oh, here he is. Look how big Treoris is. Treoris, how are you doing? It worked, buddy. It worked. But you can go one step further and go even smaller by drinking the in small link too. So let's get even smaller. Here we go. It, it takes a longer to drink when you're smaller, and I'll go through the pros and cons of being small. But as you can see, we got even smaller, so these are kind of look like normal-sized Minecraft blocks, even though this is really a normal-sized Minecraft block. And this is what I look like in the world. Grim, you are absolutely massive right now. Now, as I just mentioned a moment ago, there are lots of different features of being small and being big, but I'm going to go through those in a second by climbing this beautiful staircase. So this is what Treyarch has set up for me to kind of show off the, the little blocks. Um, stairs are a bit glitchy you kind of can only walk and jump as normal blocks but that that's just a little thing they're still pretty cool and here we go here's a little glass hut and in here we have stairs we have signs now signs are a bit glitchy i couldn't place them on both sides and i couldn't type on them either by placing on the side of um stairs but that's still pretty cool we got buttons this one doesn't do one at the moment but um i'll show you what you can do with redstone in a second we got levers as well you can place pretty much anything down so here's a block of gold it looks like i'm building normal minecraft size but I'm actually just a tiny little person so there you go really cool you can choose any kind of material you like and there we go. Some things are a little bit glitchy, as I mentioned just a moment ago, like signs and stuff. And that is the basics of building a small land. But we've also got the mechanics of water and lava, which work perfectly normally. Look at that. We've got sand. We've got water. And you can also kind of, um, you can swim as normal. This is a little bit glitchy right now. And oh, God. Oh, God. You do need to be careful of that. I almost smacked my head on that log there. And what actually happened was I... I ran out of time, so I already spent a minute 30 in small mode. So let's go back into that, because the Insmalling Potion doesn't last as long, the Insmalling 2 one. So let's just go back up here. You can fly as well in um, creative mode. It's all the same. It's just a lot smaller. So what we've also got here are smaller ores. Obviously, these won't generate. These have been placed down, but they're still really cool. You can build with them in creative mode, which is pretty cool. We've also got fully working redstone. So you can see the size of this normal Minecraft block. You can actually scale down your redstone by so much. I think it would be like 64th scale or something like that. But you can make tiny Minecraft machines in your Minecraft world and use them as a larger person. So you can replace this with a lever and flick the smaller levers as a big person, which is pretty cool. But as a small person, you can still use pressure plates and stuff like that. So I think it's the wooden, the wooden one usually works. I don't know why it's working right now. Let's try it. Come on, let's just grab a lever and see how it works normally. So you can't usually, no, no, what is this? What, what is this? There we go. That's better. I got a lever. I got a, a weird little chunk instead. But anyway, let's get take this lever and show how we can activate redstone. We've got um, a little redstone repeater here. We've got normal redstone and we've got a dispenser as well, which is going to dispense a beautiful firework. Now, fireworks are a bit glitchy because they change into normal size when they come out of the tiny dispenser. But just to show you that it does work and it does launch into the air. You can put whatever you like in here. Let's just pop um, this piece of gold in here and just show it dispensing it. And there we... Okay. Okay, it was a firework. But anyway, you get the idea. You can still use redstone and it's still pretty cool. You can make really complex machines on a tiny scale so they don't take up much of your Minecraft world space and kind of makes them more feasible, which is pretty cool. Now, in this chest, 
chest over here. You can use chests as a small person as well. I've got a few interesting items. Now, let me just put a few of these things up here so I can show you what these actually do. Let's put this here, this here. I'm going to need these for now. Let me just drink another one of these. Otherwise, I'm going to I'm gonna turn big for no reasons. Here we go. That's a bit better. It does actually take longer to drink as a tiny person. But here we go. We have got some bone meal. We have got some oak saplings. We've also got paper, slime ball, and fishing rod, which are really, really random items. And we've also got a lily pad, which I don't think I've ever used in a mod review before, string, and uh, a flint and the steel, which are all going to be interesting items, which are all used for different things. But the first one we're going to go over is the paper. Now, as a tiny person, you are able to glide while you're holding paper. So if you jump while holding paper in your hand, you will glide. How cool is that? That is pretty damn sweet. I'm gliding on a piece of paper as a tiny little borrower minion kind of thing. So that is really cool. You can also use the slime ball to climb up walls. You do slow down, as you can see, while I'm holding the slime ball. But I can also climb up walls. All you need to do is walk into a wall while holding a slime ball. And that is pretty impressive. And you can also use a fishing rod as a grappling hook. So if I um, just fire this fishing rod over here, um, try and reel it in as you would normally fishing. You will fly over to that space. And I got caught on the oars there, but that doesn't really matter. Let's do this like this. Here we go. Right click and you'll be dragged towards where you want to go. So you can use this to kind of um, travel across big buildings that you've built as a bigger person and all kind of other stuff too. But I thought it was really cool. The, the slime ball and the paper is probably my favorite. Those are really, really cool items. So let's move on to some other things you can do as a small person i just need to drink some more just in case just in case i grow big just in case there we go so we can actually do all kinds of normal minecraft things pretty much everything you can do in normal minecraft life as a big person you can do as a little person so let's take this little oak sapling here a tiny little oak sapling we can take bone meal to it and we'll allow it to grow go and grow Grow, there we go. Look, we've got a mini tree as well. A mini little farm is actually going to be really cool because when you mine them or harvest them, you will get the, the kind of like real size wheat and seeds and stuff like that. So you can carry on making a tiny little farm nice and compact, kind of like a little bonsai tree, this one looks like. So that's really cool. And you can actually light a nether portal as well and also set fire to things. Now, be careful when setting fire to things because it can crash your world. So you can make mini fires, which is really cool. It did crash. But I just wanted to show you that it does work. And another portal does light. It is a little bit glitchy. It did work normally before, but that is really cool. You can't go through it right now, but in a future update, I'm sure you'll be able to go through it, and that will be really cool. I'm not sure if you'll be tiny in the nether or not, but who knows? That is for another video. But anyway, another thing you wanted to show you was the string. Now, I am going to need Treyos for this, because this is going to be an absolutely crazy little thing you can do. So let me just drink some of this up, and I'll show you what you can do with this string. Let's just walk over to Treyos over here. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? We can actually take this string, right click any player, mob, or anything, and be able to ride him. Look at this. I am on Treyarch's shoulder right now. We are best buddies, and he is taking me around on his shoulder. How cool is that? We've got our nice little string here, and Treyarch is just going to kind of um, do his daily doings with me on his shoulder. That is really cool. Right click to get off. I'm not sure if you can do it with, like, dogs and stuff like that. You can. Look at this. I am riding real life Grim, and I think you can do this with every single mob as well. Now, getting onto mobs, we're actually going to go back to normal size, and we're going to look at the embiggening potion and also some mobs and effects that you can have on that so let's go over to here and you can use everything we talked about before in the brewing process but with red mushrooms to make potions of embiggening for three eight and um embiggening two as well so we've got the three and eight minutes and we've also got the splash potions in the same kind of increments so the splash potions are very very handy because you can use them on other people so let's take this in smalling two potion and throw it at grim go grim and we can make Grim ever, ever so tiny. Look how cute he is in a little purse. Oh my god, he's really, really small. Look how tiny he is. He will do all the normal things a normal dog does. And oh god, it's glitched a bit. Nope. Sit down. Oh god, that was a bit weird. <laughs> that was a bit weird. But let's take an big in potion. We can actually make him to normal size. Where are you gone? He's he's gone. He's gone. We have lost him. And I have no idea where he is. Is he down here? There we go. There we go. Back to normal size. But we can also go one step further and take him even bigger. And we've got a big Grim. Look how cool that is. That is amazing. And you can even get him even bigger. You can get him beginning too by adding glowstone to your potion. And he will get even bigger if I hit him properly. Go. There we go. Even bigger. Oh my goodness. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. And he's going to... Oh no. Oh, he's running away. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Just don't break anything. My God. Where is Treyoros? I want to try this on him. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? 
How you doing? How you doing? There we go. Let's make him huge, huge Treoros for all kinds of experiments. This is awesome. It's, it's so crazy. So what I've got in here are some other kind of mobs and stuff that you can use all of these potions on. And let's have a look at them. I thought most of them would be pretty funny to have a look at. And we're going to make them as big as we can. So let's put all of this stuff back. And now we'll be able to use... The, let's, just, let's just choose a few of them because this video is getting kind of long. Let's choose the creeper, the skeleton, um, the slime, enderman chicken and squid let's try all these let's take them outside for a little bit because otherwise they're going to get up oh, <laughs> it's so funny grim is actually trapped in the research lab that is so bad but also hilarious at the same time so let's take a creeper and make him where are you gone mr creeper there we go that's a little bit better so let's make him really really small and we can also make him really really big so we've got a tiny little creepers you can fight um <laughs> tiny tiny creepers in your world we've also got the embiggening ones getting back to normal size and again to make him absolutely Absolutely super huge. Traoros, you need to take... Oh, God, he's stuck in there as well. What is what is wrong with you, man? Oh, God. Those... Oh, Jesus. It's so big. It's it's massive, right? Let's go for the skeleton and make him super huge because we've seen how we're going to make him really small. And let's go for... Oh, that's another skeleton. But let's make him really small anyway. There we go. Make him really small and grim. Oh, God, this is only going to last for as long as it says on the potion. So they will only last big and small for about a minute, which is really cool. And, um, yeah, let's go for some more. Let's go for the slime. Let's make a huge slime. That's that's not really going to make a big slime, is it? But let's try it anyway. There we go. Make the big slime. Make the big slime. The slime is getting huge. Let's try and get an actual big slime in here. That should work a little bit better. Here we go. A huge slime. The most useless thing on earth. Um, a massive slime. Oh, God. That, that's a bit That's a bit scary. It, it's actually as big as the lab over there. So let's go through a couple more. We've got the Enderman. Quick Enderman. Oh, God. No, oh, man. God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you huge. I'm going to make you huge. There we go. Oh, my God. Massive Enderman teleporting around the world. That looks incredible. We've also got the chicken and the squid as well. And here we go. Big chickens, big squids. Oh, I made myself big as well. Oh, God, I forgot to show you that. I can make myself absolutely huge and join all of these massive mobs. Or I can make myself really small again and make sure that I don't get affected by all this. Here we go. There we go. We're, we're back to normal size now. But look at this. The Enderman is absolutely huge. The squid is massive too. Wow, this is really, really cool. I love this mod and the Little Blocks mod as well. So this is a combination of two mods. The Little Blocks one is really, really impressive, yet really, really simple. And I love them both. They're really, really cool. So if you do like what you see and want to try them for yourself, then please you head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. And also, if you haven't been new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would also be greatly appreciated too. Now, you guys have been absolutely killing my like targets recently. Oh my Oh my god oh my god that is so scary never make an enderman in beginning two it's just crazy but treoris he can go for it look at this oh my god he's beautiful he broke the glass as well oh jesus but anyway you guys have been kidding the like targets recently so if we could get to six thousand likes this time that would be absolutely incredible so thanks a lot for watching guys and i will see you all next time goodbye <laughs>